Hey there, everybody. I uh, just thought you guys should be aware that if there is a particular depth profile or duel that you want to get to without having to scroll through the video, um, I put timestamps in the description down below for you. With that said, let's get to the video. This is Jam4077, and today I'm giving you guys the depth profiles that I use in my duels with, with Yu-Gi-Oh! Arcafy era decks. Okay, truth is, I'm giving you guys half the depth profiles that I used in that video. Which is probably a good thing, because if I just did a whole video with all 16 decks, it, it would be a pretty long video. So, let's start things off with my Odd Eyes deck. I run three copies of... Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon, um, one Dragon Pit Magician, uh, two copies of Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon. Now, normally you're not um, getting this card out onto the field, you're mostly using it for its search effect. Um, two copies of Odd Eyes Perform Battle Odd Eyes Dissolver. Um, this is mainly used for your Fusion Blaze. One Odd Eyes Wizard Dragon. Three copies of the OG Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Two copies of Zenki Magician. Uh, the reason it's in here is mainly as a way to help you use um, Odd Eyes Razor Dragon's effect, which only triggers when it succeeds some and uses an exceeds monster. And this card's Pendulum effect allows you to turn an Exceeds Monster's rank into a level. This is um, Dragon Calling Magician, one copy of Supreme King Gate Zero, um, two copies of Odd Eyes Persona Dragon, two copies of Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm, which helps get out your Zero Gate, Gate Zero, I should say. Um, when it's normal special summon, plus it could be special summon in the graveyard, which is nice. Uh, one copy of Perform Palace Celestial Magician. One copy of Tying Gazer Magician. One Noble Dragon Magician. And one Perform Palace uh, Synchro. I run three copies of Duelist Alliance. Then we have Dragon Shine, which you're mainly going to use to dump. Um, Dark Worm into your graveyard so you can special summon it from the graveyard. One Claw of Hermos. One Odd Eyes Fusion. One Terraforming. Three copies of Summoner's Art to make a search for these guys. Uh, three copies of Spiral Flame Strike. One Super Polymerization. And three copies of Sky Arbs. Then for the extra deck, I won one copy of Perform Pal Gatling Ghoul, one Starry Venom Fusion Dragon, two copies of Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon, one Red Eyes Black Dragon Sword, one Supreme King Dragon Clear Wing, we have Odd Eyes Muta Burst Dragon, Black Rose Dragon, Odd Eyes Raging Dragon, Dark Ethelion Dragon, two copies of Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon, Number 11 Big Eye, Appaloosa, Bow of the Goddess, and one Sling Queen of the Master Magicians. So yeah, that's my Odd Eyes deck in a nutshell. And uh, let's move on to the Phantom Knights. So here is my Phantom Knights deck. I won one copy of Dark Magician, and one Red Eyes Black Dragon. Then I have one copy of Seer, Bell Branch of the Birdie Abyss, one Deep Brook, Bell Branch of the Birdie Abyss, Danger Tsuki Ono, I think that's how you say it, I could be wrong, uh, one copy of the Phantom Knights of Stained Greaves, one Grep, Bell Branch of the Birdie Abyss, two copies of Tour Guide of the Underworld, two copies of the Phantom Knights of 
ragged gloves. Three copies of the Phantom Knights of Ancient Cloak. Three copies of the Phantom Knights of Torn Scales. One Psychic Wielder. One Danger Jackalope. And two copies of the Phantom Knights of Silent Boots. Two copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. Two copies of Ghost Bell and Haunted House. And two copies of Kamuchinai? Kamuchinai. I think that's how you say it. It could be wrong. One Rana's Fusion. One Reinforcement of the Army. One Foolish. Burial. Uh, one Monster Reborn. One Called by the Grave. Two copies of Forbidden Droplet. And one Phantom Knight's Rank Up Magic Force. Now we have Phantom Knight's Wing. We have the Phantom Knight's of Shade Brigade. Or Brigadine. Brigadine. Three copies of the Phantom Knight's Fog Blade. Which is kind of like a fiendish chain. For, uh, for the archetype. And two copies of Anti-Spell Fragrance. Now for the X-Check, I have Red Eye Start Dragoon, Divine Arsenal AA Zeus Sky Thunder, one Arc Rebellion Exceeds Dragon, one Dark Rebellion Exceeds Dragon, Evil Sworn Nightmare, two copies of the Phantom Knights of Break Sword, and one Levy of the Sea Dragon to round up the Exceeds. Then we have one Appaloosa Bow of the Goddess, one Nightmare Unicorn, one The Phantom Knights of Rusty Bardige, one IP Mascarina, Mascarina, I think that's how you say it. Then we have Chorvini, Ebon Angel of, of the Burning Abyss, one Private Plant Birds Anaconda, and one Link Spider. So yeah, this is my Phantom Knight deck. Let's get on to Speedroids. Okay, here is my Speedroid deck. I run two copies of Win, the Wind Charmer, one Speedroid Rubber Band Plane, two Speedroid Double Helio, two copies of Speedroid Horse Stilts, one Speedroid Terror Top, one Speedroid Den Den Daiko Duke. One Speedroy OG Kit. Three copies of Speedroy Card Turbo. Three copies of Speedroy Take It On Board. One Speedroy Try Dice. Three copies of As Boston Joy Spring. And two copies of Ghost Org and Snow Rabbit. And I also have three copies of Speedroid Marble Machine. And two copies of Speedroid Red Eye Dice. Then we have one one for one. Oh my Gagi, one Tarpy's Fire Duster, one Foolish Burial, a Monster Board, one Speedroid, no, not one, three Speedroids Recovery, excuse me, one Call by the Grave. One Speed Lift, which uh, I really don't get to play all that often. Mostly because um, I'm mostly getting beat uh, for traps. I run three copies of Infinite Impermanence. Now for the extra, I have one copy of Satellite Warrior. One High Speed Roy Kite Trick. Two copies of Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Then... Two copies of Clear Wing Synchro Dragon, one High Speed Roy Kendama, one High Speed Roy Hagoite, Hagoite, I did say say I could be wrong, uh, one High Speed Roy Chimbara, one High Speed Roy Puzzle, one Marshall Metal Marcher, and one Form of the Synchro. Down I have one copy of Chris Strawn Helgi Firebrex and two copies of Heist Beroid Rubber Band Shooter. 
So yeah, that's it for my Speedroid deck. This deck is definitely not as fast as it once was. And the only thing I can think of either either fix that is either by giving this card some much needed support or can't believe I'm saying this, but uh, maybe bumping up this to like two or three. I know, it sounds crazy. Not being a downer, let's move on to the Private Plant deck. Okay, here is my Private Plant deck. And, oh god, these names, oh god. Uh, one Private Plant of um, Heldy Ampho Amphor Hyn Chis. I'm sorry if I butcher his names, but well, look at that. Look at that. I expect anyone to say that. Two copies of Predator Plan Banksy Orc. Uh, two copies of Predator Plan Spino Diphonia. I think that's how you say it. Three copies of Predator Plan Orphis Scorpio. One Predator Plan. Darling Tanya Cobra. Three copies of Love Fire Blossom. Finally, easy name. Two copies of Ash Blossom Enjoy Spring. Three copies of Predator Planet. Kaleen. Kalimi Do Sendu. And three copies of Predator Plan Sarah's Senti Sentient. I think that's how you say it. Again, I could be wrong. I'm, I'm probably most too wrong. And one copy of Predator Plan Cor Cornyceps. Cornyceps. One is Suffusion, one Regeki. One Harvey's Fire Duster, two copies of Polymerization, two copies of Preda Practice, Preda Practice, One Monster Reborn, one Preda Prime Fusion, one Call by the Grave, three copies of Super Polymerization, two copies of Preda Plast, and two copies of Preda Pruning, and two copies of Infinite Permits. Pretty much that I have. One copy of Greedy Venom Fusion Dragon. Two copies of Predator Plan. Triple Vernitum. Vernitum? Triple Vernitum? I, I think that's how you say it. I, I'm definitely wrong. I, yeah, most definitely wrong there. Uh, one Star Venom Fusion Dragon. Two copies of Predator Plan. Drago Septilia, Septilia. Three copies of Private Plant Chimera Rapalesia. One Ergolum Administer. One Thousand Eyes Restrict. One copy of We Witches Apprentice. Two copies of Verte Anaconda. And one Vink Karibo. Yeah, this is a pretty good deck. Um, truth be told, um, this card went over 20 turns and I'm not joking here against the Abyss deck huh? yeah you know that new reptile deck I'm just not, not, not too long ago this card went this deck right here went over 20 turns against that it didn't win sadly but it, it's still pretty amazing that that happened Anyway, um, let's move on to the Zark deck. Okay, here is my Zark deck. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Why are you playing Zark? Because I want to. That's all, with the, all that said. Let's start things off with my one copy of Odd Eyes Art Pendulum Dragon. One Dragon Pit Magician. Two copies of 
Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon, One Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, Two Supreme King Gate Zero, One Oak Dragon Magician, and Two Copies, no, Three Copies of Chronograph Sorcerer. Your main way of getting out Zark, at least until Konami decides they want to bring back Astrograph Sorcerer, which I, I don't see that happening anytime soon. I honestly don't. I'll run three copies of Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm, two copies of Black Fang Magician, two copies of White Wing Magician, three copies of Wings of My Magician, one copy of Double Iris Magician, one Perform Pals Celestial Magician, and two copies of Purple Poison Magician. Then we have three copies of Harmonizer Magician and one copy of Time Gazer Magician. For spells, I have one Miracle Synchro Fusion, which is your alter route of getting out Zark. Then we have two copies of Duelist Alliance, one Dragon Shrine, two co three copies of Pendulum Call, which can help search out your Magician Pendulum Monsters, two copies of Pendulum Fusion. Then we have two copies of Star Pendulum Grab. Um, then we have two copies of Sky Iris and one copy of Time Pendulum Grab. For the Ash deck, I have two copies of Supreme King Zark, one Star Venom Fusion Dragon, one Eyes Vortex Dragon, one Borload Savage Dragon, one Supreme King Dragon Clearwing, one On Ice Meteor Burst Dragon, one Shooting Riser Dragon, then we have All Eyes Absolute Dragon, Supreme King Dragon Dart Rebellion, and two copies of Time Storm Magician, which can help search out um, your, your Dark uh, Spellcaster monsters, as well as send Spellcasters from your deck to the graveyard, increasing your chances of getting out Zark. Then we have one Appaloosa Bow of the Goddess, one Crystal Helky Fibras, and one Predathlon for a Anaconda. So yeah, that's it for my Zark deck. I am still looking on how to improve this deck. I know most people will suggest taking this out. Don't worry, I have a deck specifically dedicated to Pendulum Magicians that I hope to play sometime in the future. Until then, let's move on to Super Heavy Samurai. Okay, here is my Super Heavy Samurai deck. Let's start things off with one copy of Super Heavy Samurai Thief. Then, two copies of Game Seal, the Sea Turtle Kaiju. Uh, these are here more or less to help Get rid of those troublemaking cards. You know who you are. Three copies of Super Heavy Samurai Big Bang K. This is one of your main beaters for the deck. And it also has the ability to allow all the other Super Heavy Samurai monsters to attack um, while they are in defense, which is nice. Now we have one Super Heavy Samurai Transporter. Three copies of Super Heavy Samurai Wagon. Uh, this is your main searcher for the soul cards. Uh, speaking of which, I have three copies of Super Heavy Samurai Soul Piercer, which gives your Super Heavy Samurai monsters piercing damage, as well as searches your Super Heavy Samurai cards. Then we have two copies of Super Heavy Samurai Scales. Two copies of Super Heavy Samurai Ludus, which is one of your main go-tos to getting out Big Bang K. Then we have three copies of Super Heavy Samurai Gate of Gloves. Um, what this card does is when it's sent to the graveyard, while you have no spells or traps, uh, you can rearrange your deck, at least the top five cards, and when your opponent declares a direct attack, 
Um, you can activate the top card of your deck, and if it's a super heavy samurai monster, which it most definitely should be, um, you can make that monster attack zero. Then I run two copies of Ash Blossom Enjoys Spring, two copies of Super Heavy Samurai Fist, three copies of Super Heavy Samurai Trumpeter, and three copies of Super Heavy Samurai Battle Baller. Then we have one Super Heavy Samurai Drum, two copies of Super Heavy Samurai Soul Buster Gauntlet, which is basically the honest for Super Heavy Samurais. As you pitch this card, and you double the defense of your Super Heavy Samurai monster that's attacking. Which is nice. Now we have one Super Heavy Samurai Soul Horns, which basically gives your Super Heavy Samurai monsters the ability to attack twice. Then two copies of Battle Fader. Now, not many people... Um, run this card in Super Heavy Samurai decks, at least from what I've seen. I mainly added it in here here in here to prevent myself from getting OTK'd. So that's one of the reasons I chose this card. And then finally we have three copies of Super Heavy Samurai Soul Piercer. And what this card does is what you're mainly going to use this for, I should say, is you're going to tribute the monster that this card's equipped to in order to spell summon super heavy samurai monster from your deck. And you may still want to use this in tandem with Soul Piercer. That way you get a new spell summon monster as well as a free search. Then for the extra deck, I run one copy of Super Heavy Samurai Steam Train King, two copies of Super Heavy Samurai Warlord Susanoo. One Super Heavy Samurai Beast, Kyubi, Kyubi, I think that's how you say it. One Borlode Savage Dragon. One Super Heavy Samurai Ninja, um, Siratopi, Siratopi. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, two copies of Super Heavy Samurai Stealth Ninja. Two copies of Super Heavy Samurai Org Shunin Doji. And two copies of Super Heavy Samurai Sword Master Musashi. Then we have one Union Carrier. And two copies of Super Heavy Samurai Scarecrow. So that's it for my uh, Super Heavy Samurai deck. Let's move on to Fright Furs. Okay, here is my Fright Fur deck. Yes, I know people will refer to this as the Fluffle deck, but I like Fright Furs. It just sounds cooler. I have three copies of Fluffle Dog, three Fluffle Penguin, two Fluffle Dolphin, three Edge Imp Chain, three Fluffle Bear, one Edge, edge Imp Sabers, three Edge Imp Scythes, two Ask Blossom Enjoy Spring, one Fluffle Owl, one Fluffle Sheep, one Fluffle Cat, and two Fluffle Wing. Then I have one copy of Fright Fur Fusion, three Polymerization, three Fright Fur Patch Work, three copies of Foolish Burial Goods, uh, one Monster Reborn, one Fright Fur Repair, and three copies of Toy Vendor. Then for the extra deck, I have one copy of Dangerous Fright for Nightmare. Three copies of Fright for Cruel Whale. Then one Fright for Daredevil. Two copies of Fright for Saber Tooth. Two copies of Fright for Kraken. Ugh. I'm thinking back to all the duels. Um, I had against Fright, Fright Fur decks back in its prime. This card, along with this, were the banes of my existence. Then we have one Fright Fur Wolf. 
one frame for tiger, one frame for sheep, one copy of Appaloosa Bow the Goddess, one cross sheep, and one Pride of Plant, Verte, and Anaconda. So that's it for this depth profile. Let's move on to DDDs. So let's start things off with Go DDD Divine Zero King Rage. Oh God, what was what's what, what's up with this card's name? Did we really have to put the word Go in there? When does DDD Divine Zero King Rage be enough? Oh, I digress. Next card up is DDD Yulji King Vice Requiem. Two copies of DDD Olivia King Abyss Ragnarok. One DDD Solvent Thomas. DDD Chaos King Apocalypse. Two copies of DD Vice Typhoon. One DD Solvent Nip Newton. One DDD Purple Met. Three copies of DDD Sol Solvent Copernicus. One DD Ghost. Three DD Swirl Slime. 3 DD Necroslime, 3 DD Lamia, and 3 DD Solvent Kepler. Then for spells, I have 2 Allure Darkness, 1 1 for 1, 1 Regegi, 1 Harvey Spider Duster, 1 Where Earth Thou, and 1 copy of Jack in the Hand. Then we have 1 Monster Reborn. Three copies of Dark Contract with the Gate. Two Dark Contract with the Swamp King. And one Salt Struck. For the X deck, I run two copies of DDD Flame High King Genghis. Two copies of the original DDD Flame King Genghis. Then we have one DDD Super Doom King Bright Armageddon. Then we have one DD Go Gust High King Alexander, one Borload Savage Dragon, one DD Curse King Sigfrey, then we have DD Gust King Alexander, then we have one DD Duo Dawn King Kaliuga, one DD Wave High King Caesar. One, sorry, you just skull dry. One, DDD Abyss King Gilgamesh. One, Christron Helki Fibrex. And one, Cross Sheep. So, yeah, that's it for the first half of my Deprobot videos. If you want to play the decks out and tweak them to your delight, I will leave. Um, a link to those depth profiles in the description down below. It will lead to my um, YG Road deck um, profile thing. So you can go there, try these decks out, and have fun. Also, be sure to like and subscribe to this video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in part two. This is Jeff 77 signing out.